you remember how it was when you grew up, like when you were younger in Philadelphia? Yeah, I remember how I grew up. You want to tell yeah. us a little what it was about, like it was? I'm going to bounce all over the place, but you, you pretty guys should pretty, you know, should be able to understand it. You know, I grew up back in the day when, you know, when we played outside, you had to come in when the light shut off on the street. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, now, days and times, and you can't even have the kids outside playing on the curb because, you know, just something is bound to happen. It's just Like gunplay, whatever. You know, gunplay, you know, a lot of things in the city that's, you know, a bad influence on the kids, you know. Right. And, you know, I wouldn't say it's all on us, but, you know, it's all on you. It's all on what you make it because, you know, I'm born and raised from Philadelphia, family, West Philly, Germantown, South Philly, exactly, wherever. Exactly, exactly. Where we laid our head at. And, um, you know, I had, I've been in places where I've been in situations when, you know, I was in trouble and I had to figure out, do I want to do this or I want to do that? So I chose to do music. Choices. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, those you choices. You have a choice, you know, to do something, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, right. Do you remember um, when you made the choice to do music? Did any of your friends, did they talk bad about you or did they say, you know, it's cool to do music? Well, uh, not necessarily. You know, I had some people that probably were, you know, not always with me or didn't understand what I wanted to do because, you know, I thought I was going to play basketball or this and that. And, you know, I was very good at it. So I guess that wasn't meant for me to happen. So yeah. I ended up doing music and... You know, next thing you know. But everybody, pretty much to answer your question, everybody that knew me from growing up always knew I was in the music. Yeah. Mainly my family. I had friends, but everybody always knew, you know, if I'm going to church, I'm taking my drums, whatever. Exactly. Gigging here You know, there. that's where it all started, playing in church every Sunday and during the week. And, You're right. You're you know, right. so all of that stuff, you know, that I had parents that, you know, was on my top. On your side, right. But, of course, as a kid, you grow up in the streets. So we all, my whole family, we all was in the streets. You right. know what I'm saying? Everybody may have done some things they had no business doing, but we all grew up and we learned, you know what I'm saying? No business doing, exactly. Yep. If 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 um you had how old are you by? I'm thirty three. I'll be thirty three this month. You'll be thirty three. <laughs> oh yeah, sure is. You know, we was talking about the uh the birthday party you had at the no, plateau. No, no, I'll be thirty four this month, I'm sorry. At, at the plateau. Yep. Um I was gonna say, you look thirty four. There's a lot of people that haven't made it as far as you have. Um, what is your secret to longevity? to success and longevity? Uh, well, you gotta, first, you know, you gotta actually work hard. You gotta stay focused. The key is staying focused and staying consistent. That's what your body, your work, uh, everything. You gotta really stay focused, consistent, and, you know, with me, you know, I don't feel like I'm 34 because I'm still, you know, I'm silly and everything, so, yeah. you know, I eat, you gotta eat the right things, but at yeah. the same time, yeah. on the music side, and Whatever your career is, whether it's music or sports or anything, or a doctor, whatever, you have to, you know, you have to take pride in your work and you have to practice at it and practice makes perfect, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So yeah. with, with all that being said, you have to take pride in your work. You have to be uh, persistent, Thank you know you. what I'm saying? And, so, and, and you consistent. To, you, know, you have to stay very, very consistent, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because that's what's going to keep you on. Yeah. Now, people look at me and Dre and see where we're at in the music career yeah. and working with everybody. Now, the key is now you get on, it's easy to meet all these artists and work with them, but when you get one thing, you have to stay consistent with it. So it's you, harder when you actually get something. I know you got a, a list of artists that you work with. Can you name maybe a couple of these guys you oh, work with? Yeah. Um, well, Philly-based artists um, on the uh, R&B side, you know, the soul has been Jill Scott, Music Soul Child, um, you got Floetry, um, and you also have uh, Kendrick. Oh yeah, we forgot about Kendrick. We gotta get, um, get at them. You know, you have uh, the Roots. You have then on the rap side. You know, we work with you know PD Crack, Beanie Siegel, Young Gunners. Uh, pretty much all the Philly rappers. That's what I'm know? talking so about. So we know everybody. Yeah. You know. And yeah. And it helps to be a based in Philly yeah. to work with the Philly artists. And then overall, we work with Sierra, Usher, Chris Brown. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Michael Jackson. We work with Michael Jackson. We work with uh, help me out. Ryan Isley. Uh, Ryan uh, Isley. Uh, 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 City Justin High. Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Uh, uh, there's so many. Yeah, Fresh Prince. Uh, Will, Will, Will Smith. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. We can look at that. We look at the, how about this? We look at the wall outside. Yeah. It's yeah. So it's easier to do that. That wall don't even tell you. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> that if you don't say nothing. If you have a bit of knowledge to drop to the kids about how they're making decisions today, what would that bit of knowledge be? Make a decision. Yeah. Well, first of all, you can make plenty of decisions. It's knowing when to make the right decision. You know right. what I'm saying? So, and sometimes you may not always know when to make the right decisions. You have to go on instincts or how you feel. So, right. Right. you know, most of the time you got to go off with how you feel, and you know that'll help you make good decisions. Surround yourself around people that's doing good things because if you yeah. don't surround yourself around people that's doing good things, you ain't gonna be doing that. I'm not saying you're gonna be doing bad things, but it helps. Surround yourself around people that's doing something. Right. And, you know, the world is, you know, there's so much, so many things you can do out here, so. To shoot for the sky, yeah, huh? you got to, that's <laughs> Hey, Frank A, how you make them hot beats, man? Tell me. Come on, I'm very interested. Uh, a lot of good creativity. A lot of patience. A lot of patience. Your doctor? And an open mind. Open mind, man. That's a good stuff. I didn't hear of them before. They always say you have to have the best equipment. But you? And also the best equipment. With it. Okay, but, uh, but you want right. to zoom in on that yeah, computer yeah. screen. God, look at the last beat, yeah, huh? Okay, now look, play it for us so we can get a little sample on our video. Okay. Oh. Chat, chat, okay. Yeah. Yeah, close both of them door. I'm gonna just for a little bit, Mike, try to get the flow. You know how we go. BC, this is official, the official christening of the booth. Yeah. We run everything. We run the street.